Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Bienvenue, bienvenue, bienvenue. Bonjour, comment ça va? Excuse my French, man, in fact, excuse my English. Better yet, excuse my pigeon. Point live from the hitches of Ghost Ghost Ponder. Oh, yeah, keep them. Take it. A baby, yeah. FC RMC, yo, wow. Straight to the matter on legit matters today. We're talking about the one and only Drizzy Drake. Drake, Drake, Drizzy Drake, the world famous, the renowned, outstanding, Grammy winning, Grammy nominating, Grammy winner, Drizzy Drake. Hand of applause for the one and only Drizzy Drake. Let's go, Drizzy Drake, Drizzy Drake, Drizzy Drake. Today we're talking about the rise from the scratch, from the bottom to the top. How Drizzy Drake was discovered by the one and only Josh Springs from Rapalot Records. Yeah, Drake, Drizzy Drake, the one and only diamond that was in the rough, who is now a diamond, a Polish diamond, who is the first class, A class artist. Let's go there. Drizzy Drake. Was discovered by the son of the famous Lil J, the son of the founder of Rapalot Records, who they call J Prince or Josh Prince. Josh Prince discovered Drake when he was suffering a line on MySpace. Matter of fact, when Josh Prince was coming up, he went to his father and told his father, "Oh my God, oh my father." Oh my father, I've seen that you're very, very successful. You are very, very great. You have a lot of respect and you are outstanding. I'm very, 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 very big in this music industry. I want to follow your footsteps. I want to be like you. I want to take after you. I want to build an empire that is going to stand out there. I want to work in the industry. I don't want to be a rapper. I don't want to be a singer, but I want to be a businessman. I want to be an executive because that's where the money comes in. That's where, that's where, that's where the money is because you are the boss. Yeah, people work for you, the rappers work for you, the musicians work for you, the keyboards, the beat makers work for you. I want to be that kind of person, I want to be an entertainer, I want to be an entrepreneur. Yeah, I want to be in the entertainment business, this is what it's all about. So Josh Prince went to his father, Jay Prince, who is the founder of Rapper Lot Records, and told him that, my father, I want to really, really take after you. And his father now said, oh my boy, you know what you have to do for me? No, 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 no. This is what you have to do for me. I don't want you to be around here. I want to go out there and go and look for a talent. I want you to go out there and go and search for what's good for you. Go and search for a diamond in the rough. Go and search for an artist. Go and search for an artist and polish this artist up very, very well. I'm making big. That's what I want you to do. Yeah, if you really want to be like me, you have to go get artists and work. With them from the ground up so now jay prince who really really was always on the internet when i mean jay prince, i don't mean the real jay prince i mean josh prince so josh prince who was always on the internet went to the internet at that point in time my space was 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 the instagram of today my space was the facebook of today my space was where all the talented kids all the people who have talent everybody all the creators were out there showing up what they have to do what they have in the store what they have in the their portmanteau so he went to my space and he was suffering my space suffering like a sufferer and was suffering the wide world and he was suffering on my space and he came across one and only Jesus Drake Jesus Drake and discovered that that boy that man that young man was really really talented had something in the pot cooking and he was really really in the kitchen putting in work so at this point in time Jazz Prince now reached out to Drizzy Drake and told Drake that my boy, I really see what you're doing out there. I really see that you're pretty, really putting in work. I really, really want to work with you. I really want to take you to the heights that you've never seen in your life. I really want to take you to the to the to the Mount Rushmore. You know, what I'm trying to say. I really want to take you to Mount Everest, the highest mountain in the whole wide world. I really want to put you with the greats. I really want to work with you. And now introduced himself that I am Josh Prince, the son of the famous J Prince the founder of rapper lot records my father was the founder of rapper lot records and he told drake i want to work with you if you really really put, put me in a position to help you i'll really take you there and drake was like oh my god all these people every day every now and then people come to me and tell me i will work for you i will take you take you to this place i will put you in position i will do this and that and they never do nothing for me why should i believe in you why should why why must i trust in you 
and just Prince say you are the, I cannot say this, I cannot and I cannot I cannot give you any any certified answer but you just have to put your trust it's just you just have to have a little faith in your boy just Prince you just have to have a little faith in me so at this point in time just Drake said okay let me just see what you have to offer let me see what you have for us show us what you have and at this point in time okay they worked together and they decided to put things together they kept things rolling they kept having keeping in touch and just Prince will get beats from various producers and you send Drake some beats and Drake will work on it Drake will rap on it Drake will sing on it and all that and later on he got some of the songs that Drake already made and took it to his father and told his father my father my father this is what your son has brought for you this is one of the fishes my your son has caught on the worldwide world this is one of the diamonds in the rough I have for you this is one of the this is what is golden keys this is what the talented keys I've I've had for you this is one of the talents I want you to listen and work with me and support me to be in this industry and J Prince also known as Lil J now listen to what Drake was saying and at that point in time he never got what Drake was saying and he was saying what, what kind of what is this you're playing for me what kind of music is this why is he singing why is he rapping and singing at the same time what's all this mix match bull crap what's all this I don't get what he's doing take this bunch of junk take it out of my sight out of my ears I don't want to listen to this no more but he never gave up on Drake he kept on persisting like someone who is praying to God that God should answer his prayers so he, he kept on putting in work keeping in touch with Drake and now due to his connections that he built around his father's empire he had so much friends in the industry from so much famous rappers so much famous producers and he decided now to shop around Drake's music to most of these rappers out there to most of these big time rappers who were his friends he decided to shop his music to them and play songs for them tell them about Drake most of them 90% or 100% of them let me say 99% passed on Drake he even went to Lil Wayne because Lil Wayne was his friend at that point in time and he told Lil Wayne I have someone special for you I have someone you need to listen to I have someone I want you to listen to and he decided to play the songs for Drake well sorry my bad for Lil Wayne he played the songs for Lil Wayne and Lil Wayne was like mm, all of, all of a sudden no 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 this is bullshit I thought you wanted to bring me a lyricist I thought you wanted to bring me somebody I thought you said you had someone who was really 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 special someone who can really 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 rap but this is bullshit I don't really get what you're doing what's all this book crap don't ever in your life disrespect me this much don't ever in your life play this kind of crap for me don't ever 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 in your life if you really don't want to talk to me again don't play this bullshit for me never bring this kind of show for me i told you uh, you were someone who had ears in the streets but i discovered that you don't really you don't really know what you're doing you don't really know your left from your right yeah that's some sauce for it yeah so matter of fact jazz prince now went back and never gave up and kept on working with drake and this was 2008 at this point in time drake already was already a little bit bigger was a little bit big in toronto he already did the song with trey songs he was in touch with trey songs and he did a song called replacement girl or song so there's one day matter of fact Drake never gave up Drake was was meant to be a great kid because he had the orientation of his father his father told him that if you really want to get big in the music industry you really have to sing and rap at the same time and matter of fact Drake was already a, a young star back then who acted in one of the drama and the series in Toronto called the Degrassi show or something like that so Drake had some idea about the spotlight so Drake was rapping and doing all this stuff and in fact at this point in time Lil Wayne already told Josh Prince I don't really want to hear none of that crap any longer for you so time passed a little bit this was around 2008 and Josh Prince now the son of Jay Prince now took invited Lil Wayne to come over and book Lil Wayne for a show in Houston Texas because at this, time, at this point in time Josh Prince resides in Houston Texas his father to Lil Jay is in Houston Texas and they built their empire rap a lot records in Houston, Texas. That's why there's if you listen to some Drake song, he should always mention Houston, Texas, Vegas, something like that. So he now he took Lil Wayne for a show, invited Lil Wayne for a show, and booked Lil Wayne for a show. And when Lil Wayne was in town, he was riding around with Lil Wayne in his own car. 
at this point in time, the woman already forgot that he already brought someone for him to listen to. So he now he was just playing one of Drake's song in his car. He was playing Drizzy Drake, and all of a sudden he kept playing the song. And all of a sudden, the waist started nodding his head like a gamma lizard. And I was nodding his head to the beats of the song and the, and the lyrics and everything. All of a sudden, you know, I said, mm, Who is this? Am, am I listening to? Who is this you playing? Whose music is this you're playing for me? And he decided to say, mm, Is the boy Dris Drake? I don't think you've forgotten about him. He was, Oh my god, my bad. This is the kid I played his song for you before. And you tell me, Don't ever, ever, ever in your life. Play this kind of song for me if you really really want to get close to me but you know how things goes time changes and the way was in love with the sound i was so inspired so so happy so so refreshed it was a form of refreshment when we listen to drake this time around and he says so he told Josh prince my boy this is what we're going to do here right here i want you to get in touch with this buddy called Jesus drake i want to push him I, I want you to get in touch with him for me let me see what we can do together and see what we can do. So Josh Prince now immediately didn't waste two seconds and decided to call Drake straight in Toronto. And called Drake. Drake was in Toronto at this point in time and told Drake, man, someone wants to speak to you, the legend himself. Who is the F baby? And Drake was like, who? And he said, okay. Put him on. And Weezy was like, hey, yeah, it's Weez F baby. And Drake was like, who? He was like, Weez F baby. I said, okay, that's right. I said, okay, my boy Jasper is going to put this in order for two of us to meet. And immediately, Jasper is now putting this together and decided to fly over Drake. He got flew out like a bee, like a girl. He got flew out. And he flew Drizzy Drake straight to Houston, Texas, and straight to Miami, Florida. Because at this time, at this point in time, the Wayne and um, Bedman, they were situated in Miami, Florida. So he brought them to the studio and they worked together. They did the first song together they did was Forever. And the original version of Forever was Lil Wayne, Drake, and Kid Kid. There was a kid they called Kid Kid from New Orleans. They did Kid Kid together. Um, they did another song again. Some like another song, I forgot the title. So later on the song got leaked and the song started getting buzzed in the streets and it's quite a yeah i really get what this guy is doing all the singing and rapping that this guy was doing this guy was really up to something so this now all of a sudden out of nowhere people started feeling the vibes of drake and drake started getting some balls and that was when these people now got serious i was like yo yo this guy is really a diamond in the rough we really have to work we really so they decided to snatch drake from this boy they call josh prince at this point in time Eminem was a good look for the whole business because I'm sorry, my bad, not Eminem. Lil Wayne was a good look for the business because Lil Wayne was really, really big at this point in time. This was 2008 when Lollipop was already out or about to get out or something like that. So he decided to leave Drake in the hands of Lil Wayne. There was no paperwork, there was no form of agreement, there was just, there was let's work together, let's work together. You know, when you're desperate for something, you don't really ask for a prize or a fee or any negotiation. You just say, let's see how things go. And this was how Jazz Prince now left Drake in the house of Lil Wayne and Lil Wayne. Bedman being a businessman and saw the potential in all this, they decided to sit together and decided to put some out. So at this point in time, Jazz Prince had a little two management company which they call Aspire and he signed Drake to he signed Drake to his little management company and later did a deal, the whole record deal with Young Money Cash Money. But matter of fact, Josh Prince was never, never paid, was never, never given any credit, no, was never given any, any, any compliment for, for, for going out there and searching for this very diamond. They, the executives now sat and were eating off this very, very diamond, a very, very nice fruit, which was cultivated and grown by the one and only Josh Prince. Batman and Lewin, they put their heads together and they signed Drake to Young Money Cash Money and later to Universal Records and that's how Drake ended up, ended up in Universal Records as one of the big fishes. So that's how Drake came straight away from Toronto, from straight up from Toronto. No Drake is, a, is, is from Toronto. Toronto is the only place where you can get love. There's love in Toronto. So Drake knows how to make love songs. Drake knows how to rap for a legend. Drake knows how to sing and that's how Drake was built from the ground up and got signed to a big deal. Yeah, this is a very nice piece from the one and only Goose Goose Panda, we you keep them the way you want. Take it.
be Bayi FC RMC. Yo, uh, straight to the matter, legit matter. Signing now. Don't forget to hit that sub button and subscribe for updates. Signing out. Au revoir. Take care.